the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of Smart View Kites on the course Telecommunication Engineering 1. So, in our last class, we saw an example of a Fourier transform. Here, we are also going to be solving an example on Fourier transform. But the one we solved in our last class ha was having a finite duration. So, this one is not having a finite uh, period, it tends to infinity. So, here we are, we are asked to find the Fourier transform of a one sided real exponential function. Hence, draw the spectrum. So, here we are asked to find the function and we are also asked to draw the spectrum. So let's let's dive in. Solution. So we know that this is a one-sided exponential. Looking at this exponential, it's a dying exponential because we are having exponential minus a t. So it's a dying exponential. It's a dying exponential. So we are told that t is greater than or equal to zero. Sorry. So if t is greater than or equal to zero, this is the only information that we are given. That means t must be greater than or equal to zero but we are not given a the range at which t is going to get to so that means t is greater than or equal to zero and t tends to infinity therefore t does not have any value up to infinity but one thing is certain t is greater than zero so for us to draw our waveform now so let's say this is our y axis and this is the x axis so we are told that t is this is zero t is it's a dying exponential we know so it's going to have this this shape so we are told that t is greater than zero but we are not given a particular duration therefore this is what we are going to have it's a dying exponential so it's going to die up to infinity so we don't have any value it's going all the way so this is our t and this is x of t so this is exponential minus a t so this is a dying exponential as you can see it's dying so now if you don't forget our formula our Fourier transform which is f of omega which is equal to integral of infinity to minus infinity f of t exponential minus g omega t dt so now this is the formula that we're going to be applying to solve this equation so now using this formula we are going to have f instead of f of t because since we are given x of t we are going to have x of omega is equal to integral from this is our limit from 0 to infinity i'm not having minus 0 right so now it is from 0 to infinity our f of t instead of f of t we are having x of t right and our x of t is exponential minus a t exponential minus g omega t dc so now if you remember your mathematics very well if you are having a a raised to power of b multiplied by a raised to power of c is the same thing as we are going to take one of this which is a raised to power of b plus c right so now this is what we are going to be applying to this exponential so now we are having our x of omega is equal to integral from infinity to to zero exponential so now we are going to apply this law here we are going to have minus a t minus j omega t dt so now this is also equal to integral from from infinity to minus minus infinity exponential so if you factor out minus t as you can see minus t is common here if you factor out minus t we are going to be left with a plus j omega right dt if we integrate this with respect to t we are going to have x of omega is equal to minus one over because of the negative that is here normal integration you should know that by now a plus j omega exponential minus t open bracket a plus j omega limit from sorry we are not having minus inf negative infinity here because we said our limit is from zero to infinity so now x of omega 
can be further simplified into minus 1 over a plus j omega open bracket exponential minus so now we are going to substitute our limits so our limits for the upper limit we are having infinity infinity multiplied by a plus j omega is infinity so here we are having infinity minus exponential minus minus t times uh, t is zero which is the lower limit multiplied by a plus j omega is still zero anything multiplied by zero is zero so here we can simply write zero right so now we can further simplify this expression to we are having x of omega is equal to one over a plus j omega open bracket so now exponential minus infinity is still the same thing as one over exponential infinity and exponential infinity is a very big number which is infinity so one divided by infinity one divided by a very big number is the same thing as zero so exponential minus infinity is zero minus exponential zero is one so now we are having don't forget here we are having minus so now you are having x of omega is equal to this expression times minus one so minus will cancel minus now we are having one over a plus j omega so now in order to get rid of this g we don't want our expression to be in terms of to be complex so we are going to normalize we are going to take the norm of this which is the the magnitude the absolute value sorry so taking the absolute value of this we are going to have this in root of uh, a squared plus omega squared this is one over so let me write it very clearly so that you can see we're having one over root of a squared plus omega squared so now this is our expression for x of omega we can draw the spectrum with this expression so we are going to assume a to be equal to one so we are going to assume it in our previous tutorial we we plot the spectrum assuming v and t to be equal to one so same thing here we are going to assume here to be equal to one and we are going to assume value for omega and plot x of omega so it's still the same thing you are going to draw a table you are going to assume a table here should be omega and here is x of omega so when omega is you can start from minus three minus two it depends any anyone minus minus one it depends to three it, so it depends on how you want to take your scale so me i'm going to take mine now and i'm going to show you the way i have plotted mine so it's it's a classwork for you or it's just a, a tax for you so just plot this and impute your the value of omega here so when omega is one you are going to put you are going to have one this is already one one squared root of one so here is definitely going to be one so just like that we are going to fill up this table so here is my own uh my my table so i took my own values to be from minus 30 minus 30 to 30 so you can take your own range it depends on the way you want it you can take it as minus 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 it depends on the way you want it so now after plotting my table this is the spectrum this is this is the omega axis the omega is on the x axis it's on the x axis and the x of omega is on the y axis so you can plot this against this is the same thing you can see at zero we are having one we are having one and the rest so you can't uh plot your own uh spectrum and see the way it looks like so for you to have a very big spectrum like mine you have to take a very big value and a very big range i hope you, you start understanding how to solve Fourier transform and i'm very sure you should be able to solve Fourier transform related question by now uh feel free to uh comment on the comment section and if you have any recommendation or you are confused in any question you can paste it on the comment section we shall meet in our next tutorial thank you